Let's talk about growing up psychic and what it means for those super sensitive children that you have at home. I am Laura Lee. This is your five minute spirit reboot. And joining me today are the Trinity Oracles, three psychic sisters that knew they were psychic as little children. We've got Erica. Candace <laughs> and Jasmine. Welcome, Hello. ladies. I think we all have different key characteristics. Like Erica, you use sketching as an intuitive way yes. of communicating to spirit. And then Candace, you do dream interpretations, which I really love. And then Jasmine, you're clear cognizant. You just kind of know things when they occur. When I was a kid, I hid a lot from people. Like I stayed in closets. I was behind chairs because it was just too much. Just too much energy around me. How was it with you guys? You know what? I always knew what to say to people. So people were magnets to me. Like all the school kids were telling me their business, telling me what's going on. <laughs> so I always like knew what to say, but I also always knew what was going on. Like they're lying. And then oh. I would be right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so you're a trusted advisor. Pretty much. <laughs> Okay, Erica, how about you? Oh, for me, it's funny. I actually thought I was just very analytical and just like watch people. And I'd be like, you know, this person, they're just like this, this, this. That relationship's not going to last. But how'd you know? I'm like, I don't know. I was just being analytical. But it was really, I was just being psychic. And I really didn't know that was the key for it. How about you, Candace? Mm, I was more of a feeler. I would feel things. I still do. And I'd be like, something doesn't feel right, but I wouldn't say anything. I'd just be like, kind of sit back and like Jasmine would say like watch because if I did say something like oh this, that's just Candace you know being dramatic so you like <gasps> oh out. yes oh yeah mm-hmm. I totally so get that about. too I said that is, so you're sitting there like you know I know this person ain't good and you're just like I might be just being judgmental but you're feeling something's off about them you still want to be chastised for thinking you know how you really feel mm-hmm. or what you're you know perceiving so do you think it was nurtured in your household or do you feel like some of it was negated negated <laughs> <laughs> we say things it's like oh you know you basically like you're not god the judgment <laughs> thing right how about you jasmine no it, it was more negated <laughs> <laughs> no. like, don't buy cars don't tap into that energy you don't know what you're conjuring you know you're tapping the other people's energy so you can like, invite something super negative in so, mm-hmm. you know, basically like you're playing with the devil. And what about you, Candace? Oh, it was definitely um, negated. Sometimes, like, I, sometimes I'm like, oh, I feel like this. And they're like, you're just being dramatic. You know, you kind of don't want to open up your mouth after sometimes when people give you ridicule. Are any of you parents? Because I am. Any, I am. Jasmine. All right. So, Jasmine. All right. So, we'll start with you first. What would you say to a parent out there who's got a supernatural kiddo? And they're picking up on things. How would you recommend they nurture that or not? It depends on the situation, but I would definitely actually tell them, okay, let's talk about psychic boundaries. Let's talk about empathic boundaries. If a parent is not involved in this world, (laughs) in the psychic world, definitely get a mentor. Do not try and nurture it yourself because there's things in the spiritual world that you need someone who's been through it, who can help you guide your child. If you're in a spiritual world and you'll always divulge everything that you're receiving because they have to learn. It's like reading the room. Right. How about you, Erica? What would you recommend? So I would say the first thing I would do is probably take them to a trusted psychic and see how open they are. I would see, see what their psychic abilities are and how I can protect them and show them how to protect themselves. Candace, anything different than your sisters? I would say listening. Even if you're like, what is this kid talking about? Li- listening, kind of being open-minded, but also asking questions. Like, why do you feel like this is going on? Because a lot of the times, just, the kids will say stuff and you're like, well, where is that coming from? I love get that. Journal, get a journal for them and let them start writing their predictions down and what mm-hmm. they're feeling and who they're receiving it from. Like, how does this person feel? They feel positive. You know, ask Right. Them. I do the same thing. I encourage it. And it doesn't mean that the kid's going to grow up psychic. I think that's what some parents, they're scared of it. And so that's why they may negate it. So you guys are an interesting group and I know people are loving your gifts out there because you've got a great channel on YouTube. Where can people find you? So on YouTube, you look us up at Trinity Oracles. 
Mm -hmm. um, our website is uh, trinityoracles.com. Yeah, you can find us there. And all our links are on our website. Thank you for sharing your wisdom today and insight about growing up psychic. And if you like this episode and you want more, please like it and share it. And remember, you can connect with us at Facebook Radio Medium Lore League Group. We'd love to hear from you and your thoughts about this subject.